to overcome your fear of what other people might think about you. That fear kept controlling me for my entire life. I remember when I, met, when I went on my first real date with a completely straight woman that I have met in the club before. And I was sitting on that date and I was so nervous that I would feel my heart pounding right underneath my throat. And my hands were so cold, like I was freezing. And my face was getting red with every passing minute. After a couple of days, I called her and I asked her to go to a cinema. And she told me, you know, I have to pack for vacation for the next week. I go on Saturday. And I asked her, so you're going to pack the entire week? And she was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I said goodbye, I put the phone down, and I just told myself, this is it. I cannot live my life this way anymore. It was a breaking point, and my frustration was full. And I decided to change myself. And I decided to become a confident man. So, I read the books and started to learn how to become more confident. And everybody was telling me that I should expand my comfort zone. I love the quote of Sylvester Stallone. And he says, do every day one thing that scares you. And he promises that if you do it, you're going to achieve everything you want in your life. And many authors, as well, were telling me that a great thing to develop confidence is to do some public speaking. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do it. I had really important reasons to start speaking publicly. And each and every one of you have their own reasons to learn it. And I remember my first real presentation without the notes when I was in college. And every one of my peers, they were presenting on stage with their notes, reading them like this. And they avoided all contact, eye contact with the audience. They were so afraid. And they might live the life in fear right now, because it's their choice. Maybe they have developed themselves. I decided that I'm going to get on that stage and present something without the notes about quality management. And I had no idea about quality management and I wasn't interested in it at all. <laughs> and I prepared some conspect and I just talked about it because I read some book about this subject and I remember like I was standing there and I flexed my leg muscles so hard so the other people cannot see that they might be shaking. <laughs> and I felt the sweat, you know, running you know, through my back. And it was really stiff. And I remember when I walked down from that stage, I sit, you know, in my desk next to my friends, and I just felt deep down in my heart, I will not be intimidated anymore. <laughs> And you know, my friends, they told me, hey, great presentation. They congratulated me and they were impressed. And I felt, wow, right now, after this presentation, I feel that meeting new people and feeling comfortable in my skin around new people is easy. And I felt that my confidence was built a little bit, but obviously it started to regress after a couple of days. So I just thought, okay, I have to make another presentation. <laughs> and then another, another. And then I counted about Toastmasters. And I came, and through all of those, you know, presentations, I really was struggling with nervousness, and I didn't speak like I do right now. And every time I went down the stage, I felt that my confidence was built, that I feel better in my skin, and I am becoming a person who goes in life for what he wants to do. And when I meet my friends and I see or 
they ask me about shyness, about nervousness, about self-worth, and they don't feel very confident about themselves, then I just tell them, you know, a great way to overcome this is to do some public speaking. Because most of the people are afraid the most about two things, death and public speaking. And many of them report that they fear more public speaking than death. So, if you overcome the fear of public speaking, what else are you going to be afraid of in life? Right? And I can just see not only that I have changed, but my good friends that I have invited here, or that I just told them that they can do some presentation at school or at work, that they can really improve themselves by doing that. And I meet them after a couple of months or a couple of years, and I just see how they hold themselves, how they look me in the eyes, how they smile, how they joke. And I just think to myself, wow, it's amazing that they have changed so dramatically. It's really impressive. And this is one of the best habits that you can create to become confident and achieve your goals, is to push your comfort zone on a regular basis. And public speaking, is one of the best tools that can help you do it. So if I could do it, my friends could do it, you can do it too. Thank you very much. <laughs>